Good morning, perfume enthusiasts. Thanks for stumbling onto this video. I'm just gonna open this, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I got this in 2016, probably 27 bucks. The 50 mil was like $17. And the, uh, my first bottle I uh, used and, and gave it away. And then I just had this. I've only had the EDT. It's the only one I know. So I've had a total of three, but I don't have uh, this bottle right now for a couple of years. Uh, been, I mean, exposed to my collection. A Peace Marine, Hermes, and Rosie Cabana. This is my second sample of Rosie Cabana that I... Uh, requested and I gave some to my co-worker at work not that I think I'm gonna wear this a lot but uh well uh ladies uh, this is like the most beautiful rose I've ever smelt up till now I haven't smelled a lot but I've smelled a lot of Chloe's and a lot of women's perfumes you know uh fruity florals and florals but this by John Claude Elena you can just tell. This is just top of the heap. Rosie Cabana Hermes Hermescence line. Pretty pricey. Yeah, Hermescence line. It smells everything of the rose. It's watery, juicy. The stem, the petal, especially the petal. It's, it's very realistic. It still can call it transparent, but it's, it's substantial. It's, it, it's the most, not that I love rose, I like it, of course. I think I like jasmine better. But uh, I bet that's one of the best roses out there, ladies. And if you love it, if you like something kind of obviously floral, but you don't like uh, projecting a big, sweet, heavy perfume, um, I notice Asian gals would probably be attracted to this. You know, like the Joe Malone types. Um, Put, get your nose on Rosie Cabana. I highly recommend it. Just smelling it. And I bet you might think that it's the best rose you've ever smelled in your life. So, uh, that's my deal with that. I looked for a batch coat on this. I couldn't find one. It's probably made like in 2015 or 14. If I find one, I'll put it in the comments. Just don't see a new bottle of this. Often. So, Midnight in Paris, Van Cleef and Arpels, Eau de Toilette, Pour Homme. Uh, these guys make jewels, right? Earrings and such. Uh, it's been a long time since I had had my fingers on this bottle. I love it. The cap is what I love. Uh, it's intact. It's the big bottle. That's what I like down the side there. And it's written, written. Let me see if I can focus. Yeah. Who isn't uh, a constellation astronomy buff? I was. Look at that. I don't know how it was sold this cheaply back then. And I would have gotten some more bottles. I had a, a 50 mil, like I said, and I sent that off in the box to a cousin in Japan. It's had a rough life. She's older than me and house ridden, I think most of her life with her spine and stuff. And uh, I wanted her to have it. What I do is turn the, this is the thing I remember from the other bottle. 
it comes off. The sprayer will break before you run out of juice. There it is. Fingerprint magnet. Yep, it's been a long time since I smelled this and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Bulgari Black, which I probably like this fat better than this a little bit, but it's taken me back uh, five years ago, four and a half years ago. Just smelling my hand right now. Um, it's taken me back to the beginning and then the hype on YouTube and stuff. It's great. I'll wear this, wear it to work wherever I want. It's just harder to wear it to work right now because it's not temperature controlled. The air conditioner is overwhelmed by the open doors. Anyway, there was an unboxing of uh, EDT, Midnight in Paris. What a name, what a bottle. Um, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll think of some more ideas to make some videos. Just got my uh, Bleu de Chanel Parfum. And I sprayed these yesterday. Here's the EDP. I gotta learn this uh, parfum. I see how different it is than the EDP without the incense. Man, it's got it's gotta be hard to beat the one with incense. I don't know if I'm gonna like it better, but that's Blue de Chanel from Chanel. And uh, there's my unboxing of Midnight in Paris. I really appreciate you stumbling onto this and and uh, taking the time. Um, I'm I'm thankful. Thank you very much. Uh, Fabio signing out. Soup.